the road again Going places that I've never been Seeing things that I may never see again I can't wait to get on the road again All right, folks, I am here in St. Lucia. I got here yesterday and I'm renting a car. Going to a place called, uh, I believe it's called Pigeon Island. They drive on the left side of the street here, like uh, a lot of the other Caribbean islands. Uh, I'll stay here. So I got here last night. I'll stay five more nights. I might have a talk with the airline company, see if I can uh, Turn right. maybe stay a couple more days. So my rental car, it's the people that have my Airbnb also have a rental car agency. So he gave me a four by four for 50 US dollars a day. Which if you, if you take taxis around here, it costs a lot of money unless you learn how to use these little bus systems which don't cost much. But I want to explore the island and if you sit there and try to pay a taxi t t to uh, drive you through the island it, it costs a lot of money a lot better just to rent a car here I don't know if I can listen to my radio or not see basically to hold my phone, I put it inside the CD player. I don't know if I can play music or not. Alright, so let's talk about Barbados. Because I just, I was in Barbados eight days, so I could talk about Barbados. I can't really talk about St. Lucia. I just got here. I, I got here to St. Lucia in 2015 on a cruise ship. But, you know, that's only like half a day uh, stay there. So I didn't learn too much about St. Lucia. Uh, Barbados had a pretty good time there. Uh, it just, it's low season. Not many tourists. Same story as before. Same thing here. Not many tourists right now. Um, that's okay. Uh, I'm just taking a look. Trying to learn, you know. I travel to see things and learn stuff. Pretty exciting. Uh, people in Barbados are pretty easy going, relaxed. There are some spots where you know you should be careful and stuff, but um, overall if you stay in the touristy areas of Barbados, it's it's safe there. You don't have to worry about nothing. Barbados is pretty expensive. Like, I did so many things there that I was like, wow, that's, that costs a lot of money. So, I don't know. Not too easy for me to talk right now. You know, I'm trying to get used to the driving here. Uh, so, let's talk about something else. <laughs> Alright, after, after I stay here and St. Lucia, I'm going to Martinique, which is a French overseas territory. Then might stay there about a week or so. Then I will go to Guadalupe, which is another French overseas territory. Then I'm probably going to the Dominican Republic. 
not sure how long I will stay there. And then, uh, I'll probably make a stop or two before going back to Columbia. Not quite sure on the path of that yet. It depends on the flight prices I can find. Uh, I would just say after Dominican Republic, I have actually no plans. It's just because I change my mind quite often and stuff like that. I have a friend that might come see me in the Dominican Republic, so whatever happens with that, that could change things, you know. So I got about nine, ten more minutes before I get to the Pigeon Bay. I'll take a look there. Uh, seems like there's some hiking to do, so I, I could use the exercise. But I haven't had any lunch or anything today, so I'll probably have to find a place to eat there, too. See, I'm checking out tomorrow my Airbnb. I think I will go to the city called Sufre. I might take a quick stop in Castries to have a look on the way, because that's on the way. Um, take a look there, maybe take some video. I'm not quite sure of everything yet. Might be better if I just go straight to Sufre, because that's, from what I understand, quite a pretty far drive. thinking about changing my airline ticket to a later date, so I need to get a hold of the airline company. I might have to go. I was told I could probably go to the airport and do that. Uh, there's a nice little marina to my left here. You guys can't see it though. Rodney Bay Marina. So six more minutes. Might take longer because I don't know where I'm going. Oh, now I see that pirate ship called the Pearl. I kind of want to do that. I want to. I have fun taking those little party boats where you just drink and people go wild and crazy. That's kind of fun. I did that in uh, Cabo San Lucas once. It was fun. So far, driving here is pretty easy. There's not uh, exactly much traffic or anything going on. Now, I know driving, when I drive to Sufre, it's uh, windy, crazy road that a lot of people talk about. So, I know that's going to be a challenge. But, yeah. I've driven through... Uh, a lot of places, so yeah, I think I'll be okay. Now, I'll probably rent a car on my next island, and I think they drive on the other side of the street. So, even though that's what I'm used to, I have to uh, prepare myself in my mind to drive on the other side of the street again. My mind's already programmed to drive on this side of the road right now. And the car in front of me is 
side skirt is uh, dragging on the street. I guess that's what you do, is you pass people up here. streets remind me of uh, Antigua. I rented a car in Antigua. It seems like the same here. Uh, Antigua has uh, really, really beautiful beaches. It's, I was very impressed with Antigua's uh, beaches. Some of the beaches there, they have uh, pink sand. Uh, it just when you see the sand that's like truly pink it's and soft and powdery, it's just uh, kind of mind-blowing. Right. Apartments for sale, 600,000 US dollars. That's not cheap by my standards. So we got the ocean there. Looks pretty nice. I don't know if the water's clear, I can't really tell. Keep right. See some tennis courts to the left. Now I am actually not sure where to park. That's the Sandals Resort right there. Uh, sandals costs a lot of money. More coconut guys. I, I've seen that in every Caribbean country. I've even uh, seen it in Guyana. I think I saw some in Suriname, I can't remember. Turn right. Let's see here if uh, this place impresses me or not. Once you travel a lot to a lot of these different countries, it becomes harder to uh, be impressed. If you've never left the United States or whatever country you're from and then you go to another country you might be like, wow, but you know, if you travel a lot like me then uh, it's harder to be impressed. I'm glad I got the 4x4 because the uh, average car would not have taken that very well. Alright, so I'm going to park here somewhere, and then the video will end soon. Park here.